Greetings of peace and joy to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is the second Sunday of Advent. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Don Dion Soriano, SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration will now begin. Please rise. celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We will now light uh, the second uh, candle. Now we have the Vega family to light the second Advent candle. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord of all creation. In the midst of life's toil and labor, you help us to prepare the way for your Son. Reform our lives through the power of your grace, that we might become fruitful heralds of your eternal kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, and to you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, Virgin all, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son, but may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. Jerusalem, take off your robe of mourning and misery. Put on the splendor of glory from God forever. Wrapped in the cloak of justice from God. Bear on your head the mitre that displays the glory of the eternal name. For God will show all the earth your splendor. You will be named by God forever, the peace of justice, the glory of God's worship. Up, Jerusalem, stand upon the heights. Look to the east and see your children gathered from the east and the west at the word of the Holy One, rejoicing that they are remembered by God. Led away on foot by their enemies, they left you, but God will bring them back to you, born aloft in glory as on royal thrones. For God has commanded that every lofty mountain be made low, and that the age all depths and gorges be filled to level ground, that Israel may advance secure in the glory of God. The forest and every fragrant kind of tree have overshadowed Israel at God's command. For God is leading Israel in joy by the light of his glory with his mercy and justice for company. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. the Lord brought back the captives of Zion. We were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. said among the nations the Lord has done great things for them the Lord has done great things for us we are glad indeed the Lord has done Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us. They go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown. They shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Oh uh -huh. 
From the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I pray always with joy in every prayer for all of you because of your partnership for the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work in you will continue to complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. God is my witness how I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may increase ever more and more in knowledge and every kind of perception to discern what is of value so that you may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths or flesh shall see the salvation of God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the 15th year of the rule of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontius Pilate was procurator of Judea, Herod, tetrarch of Galilee, Philip, his brother, tetrarch of the region of Ituria and Tranconitis, and Lysanias, uh, tetrarch of Abilene, during the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God was spoken to John, son of Zechariah, in the desert. He went about the entire region of the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance, which led to the, to the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, A herald's voice in the desert crying, Make ready the way of the Lord, Clear him my straight path. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be leveled. The windings shall be made straight, and the rough ways smooth. And all humankind shall see the salvation of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. In every arrival, there is a moment of waiting. And in every welcome, there is a preparation. Sa bawat pagdating, ay mayroong paghihintay. Sa bawat pagtanggap, ay mayroong paghahanda. Advent is the time of preparation. We are preparing for the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are preparing to welcome the Messiah. And when it comes to preparation, wala nang tatalo pa sa mga Filipino. We Filipinos prepare for Christmas for almost four months, starting from September 
until December. We have the longest Christmas, not celebration, but preparation. Imagine from September until December. September pa lang. But those are superficial preparation. But actually, the hospitality of the Filipinos is beyond compare. Ibang klaseng maghanda ang mga Filipino. Naalala ko noon kapag ka sa mga baryo na pumupunta kami at nagbimisa, kapag ka nakikitira kami sa mga bahay, talagang yung mga kubiertos, mga kutsara, mga tinidor na hindi ginagamit ay nailalabas dahil merong espesyal na bisita. Ang mga kumot na inalmirol sa seven text sa mga probinsyano dyan, alam nyo kung sinasabi ko sa seven text, ito inilalabas dahil merong espesyal na bisita. Kaya nga, during this time of Advent, the Church is calling us also to prepare for our special visitor. And our special visitor, as we all know, is no other than Jesus Christ. And the Gospel today, we have a special figure in the person of John the Baptist. In the first part of the Gospel, we heard of different names, Tiberius Caesar, Pontius Pilate. We know of Pontius Pilate. He wrote, we heard of him. Philip, sometimes, Lisanias, and Anas and Caiphas. Bakit kinakailangang ilabas ito ng ibanghilista? Upang ipakita sa atin na totoong naganap the history of the Christ event na nangyari talaga na dumating si Kristo at ang kapanganakan ni Kristo ay hindi lamang gawa ng mga naunang Kristiyano. At si San Juan Bautista nga ang nagtuturo sa atin in our gospel on how to prepare for the coming of our Lord. Okay yung mga Christmas trees, walang problema sa mga Christmas lanterns, sa ating mga decoration, no problem. Pero ang sabi ni St. John the Baptist, we have to prepare first and foremost by repentance. Pagsisisi, pagtalikod sa ating mga kasalanan. Sa mga nagtatampisaw sa kasalanan, ito yung panahon upang tayo'y magbalik loob sa Panginoon. Pero kinakailangan nating tanggapin, repentance must also have first and foremost acceptance. Acceptance na tayo ay marunong o nagkasala. Aside from repentance, hindi lamang pagsisisi bagkos ito'y tumutulay o tumutuloy sa pagpapatawad ng mga kasalanan. The Gospel says, which led to the forgiveness of sins. So hindi pala useless yung ating pagsisisi dahil ito'y may kaakibat na pagpapatawad ng mga kasalanan. Second preparation, papaano tayo maghahanda sa pagdating ng Panginoon? Invite others to repent. Kausapin, imbitahan ng ibang tao na magsisi sa kanilang kasalanan. <laughs> Medyo nakakatakot ito. Kasi kapag ka sinabi mong invite others to repent, ang agad na sasabihin sa atin, Father, baka sabihin, plastic ako. Baka sabihin, hipokrito ako. Kasi ako isang makasalanan, bakit ko hihimukin ang aking kasamahan na magbago at iwasan ang pagkakasala? Sometimes we have that mentality. We do not want to force our morality on other people. Sabi natin, do not impose your morality on us. We do not want to impose our morality on other people. But that is actually wrong. Because we do not impose our morality on other people. No, it is not our morality. It is Christ's morality. It is the morality that came from divine law. Higher than the natural law. And much higher than the human law promulgated by us, by human. So yung ating morality ang ipinapakita at itinutuwid ang ating kapwa, ito'y hindi nagmula sa atin. But this is Christ morality. The morality that came from the divine law. Sa utos at sa banal na utos ng Diyos. Halimbawa na lang kung ikaw ay isang mekaniko, kapag ka ikaw ay tawid, uh, takot na ituwid ang pagkakamali ng iyong kliyente, papaanong matututo ang iyong kliyente? Papaanong malalaman ng kliyente ang mali yung kanyang pagdadrive kapag ka hindi ka marunong magtuwid? Papaano kung isa, ikaw ay isang teacher at takot kang magtuwid sa iyong isudyante? Papaanong matututo ang iyong sudyante kung ikaw ay takot na magsabi ng kanyang pagkakamali? 
So it is not easy. It is not easy to invite other people to repent. Pero kinakailangan natin gawin as Christians, as Catholics, it is our obligation also to invite other people to repent. Hindi lamang sa simbahan, bagko sa ating mga pamayanan. Kung ikaw ay isang kaibigan at kinukonsente mo ang pagkakamali ng iyong kasamahan, ng iyong kaibigan, sa palagay ko, hindi ka tamang kaibigan. Oo, dapat nating damayan, subalit hindi natin dapat konsentihin ang kanyang pagkakamali. Hindi ka pwedeng manatiling neutral. Sasabihin mong, ah, dito lang ako sa gitna para wala akong masaktan na tao, tatahimik na lang ako. Hindi na lang ako magsasalita. Sabi nga, di ba? Para manalo ang kasamaan, kinakailangan lamang na tumahimik ang mga taong na mabubuti. So kinakailangan natin bilang mga katoliko, bilang mga kristyano, to repent, and second, to invite others to repent. And third, to turn people's attention to Christ. Na lahat ng ginagawa natin, this is not for us. Just like John the Baptist who said, Make ready the way of the Lord. Hindi niya sinabing, Make ready the way for me. Hindi. Ang sinabi niya, Someone is coming greater than I. I am not even worthy to untie the strings of his sandals. So ang lahat ng ating ginagawa, mga kapatid, is for Christ. To turn people's attention to Christ. He is the reason for our preparation. Welcome Him, honor Him, and stay with Him. Kapag ang bisita dumating sa bahay, siya'y ating kinakausap. Nagahanda at ating kinakausap. So lahat ng ating ginagawang paghahanda na ito, hindi para maging masaya tayo sa Pasko, kundi para maging masaya yung bisitang darating sa atin ngayong Pasko. Kailan ba tayo dapat maghanda? Every day, hindi lamang tuwing Pasko. Kasi hindi natin alam kung kailan ang pagdating ng ating Panginoon. Favorite story ko ito tuwing ako'y nag-homily when it comes to preparation. May dalawang magkaibigan na mahilig sa basketball. At ang sabi nila, pangako natin sa bawat isa, kapag ka tayo namatay, pagdating sa langit, babalik ang isa sa atin. Kung sino man ang mauna sa ating mamatay, ay babalik upang sabihin kung mayroon bang basketball sa langit. Namatay ang kanyang kaibigan at sa panaginip ay nagpakita sa kanya. At ang sabi, Tol, good news and bad news. Anong gusto mong unahin? Ang sabi ng kaibigan, yung good news muna ang gusto kong mauna. At ang sabi, good news, tama, may basketball dito sa langit. At ano naman yung bad news? Bad news, kasama kang maglalaro sa first five bukas. Imagine yung shock ng kaibigan dahil kasama na pala siya sa maglalaro sa first five kinabukasan. Sa langit, sa langit, hindi dito sa lupa. Kaya nga ang ating paghahanda, our preparation is an everyday preparation. For the coming of our Lord, not only this Christmas, but for the coming of our Lord in our lives. And hopefully, handa tayo anytime na tawagin tayo maglaro sa first five ng ating Panginoon. Let us all stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth of all, all things, things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by, the Holy and by Spirit, the Holy Spirit was incarnate, was incarnate of the Virgin of the Mary and, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He, he suffered, suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right, right hand of the Father. Father. He, will he will come, come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his, and his kingdom will have no, no end. end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver, the giver of life, who proceeds, who proceeds from, from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. 
I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Longing for the Lord's coming, let us now turn to our Heavenly Father to help us prepare the way of the Lord. Full of confidence, we pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For church leaders and missionaries, may they have the zeal and courage to go out of their comfort zones and reach out to those who are in the peripheries. We pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. For government officials and those who are in public office, may they shun corruption and their selfish interest and promote peace, justice, love, and equality instead. We pray. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. us. For the victims of the COVID-19 pandemic, may they find healing and spiritual nourishment from the true healer, Jesus Christ, our Savior. We pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. For our handicapped brethren and those who are suffering from AIDS, May they have recourse and consolation in our God, who is always with us and in us. We pray. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. For our departed brothers and sisters, may they enjoy the company of Christ with his angels and saints in God's kingdom. We pray. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community in our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. Heavenly Father, level the mountains of our pride and hate so that love and forgiveness may truly reign in our hearts as we await the coming of Christ, your Son, and our Lord. Amen. Amen. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy, 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling, John the Baptist sang for his coming, and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that we may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glorious without end, we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Onesto our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Come of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Replenish with the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and to hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel for Orathio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungso. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Bernadamitz. Please be seated for some announcement. In commemoration of the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines, the third year seminarians of Christ the King Mission Seminary are selling 500 years of Christianity memorabilia. This memorabilia includes once-in-a-lifetime commemorative plate and commemorative car plate. These limited edition plates are available outside the shrine and through online. For online orders, you may contact 0926-0870105 or message us in the CKMS Facebook page. As the IATF protocol eases up, please be informed of the Shrine's mass schedule that is open to the public. Mondays to Saturdays, 6.30 a.m. and 6 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. To ensure the safety of everyone, observance of health and safety standards, such as physical distancing, wearing a face mask, use of alcohol, and taking body temperature is still in place. Please bring your vaccination cards, IDs to be presented at the entrance. On December 8, 2021, Wednesday, we will be celebrating the Solemnity of Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The schedule of Masses are as follows, 6.30 a.m., 8 a.m., 4 p.m., and 6 p.m. Christmas Mass schedules are as follows. Simbang Gabi, December 15 to 23 at 8 p.m. Misa de Gallo, December 16 to 24 at 4.30 a.m. Christmas Eve Mass, December 24 at 8 p.m. Said Masses will be live streamed and open to the public. We also have LED wall televisions outside the shrine 
for our drive-by mass goers. Thank you, Father Ronnie Chrysostomo, SVD Shrine Rector. Please rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. Turn your people to you with all their heart, O Lord, we pray. For you protect even those who go astray. But when they serve you with undivided heart, you sustain them with still greater care. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go Amen. in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Joy to the Lord, all the earth, serve the Lord with gladness. Cry out, we joy to the Lord, all the earth, come before Him, singing for joy, so that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him, and we are His people, the sheep of His flock, the sheep of His flock. Cry out, we joy to the Lord, all oh, the earth, serve the Lord with gladness. Cry out, we joy to the Lord, all oh, the earth, come before Him, singing for joy. Come before Him, singing for joy. Come before Him, singing.